This is high in Sokoto State with over 50,000 children said to be treated in May this year alone. In this report, Abu Bakr Iman examines what is responsible for these cases and what can be done to address the problem. One of the reasons for many broken homes in Nigeria is the inability of the heads of such families to provide food for their households. This also has a consequential effect on the growth of their children with every tendency of affecting their moral upbringing as they could engage in all sorts of things to get something to eat. According to the United Nations International Children Fund, Nigeria has the second highest burden of stunted children in the world, with a national free balance rate of 32% of children under 5. UNICEF added that about 2 million children in Nigeria suffer from severe acute malnutrition, but only two out of every 10 children affected is currently rich with treatment. The report added that 7% of women of childbearing age also suffer from acute malnutrition. Sokoto is one of the states worst hit by the disease. The nutrition specialist of UNICEF in Sokoto field office, Abraham Mahama, said as at May 2023, or by 50,000 severely malnourished children were admitted in various health facilities being supported by UNICEF in the States. Yeah, so um, when we look at the available data that we have from the admissions that we have been um, collecting from the various um, health facilities that we support to implement the integrated management of acute malnutrition, um, we have, as of May, we have been able to admit um, well about 50,000 um, children um, for us to be able to um, treat in the outpatient, outpatient care, um, but outpatient treatment um, program sites. Cross TV visits one of the facilities at Gaiju Community in Sokoto North local government area of the state. During the visit, mothers are seen bringing their stunted children for treatment and counseling. The country director of UNICEF, Christian Maduete, who paid an assessment visit to the facility, speaks more on the danger of malnutrition. Keep some children alive because they are so weak. They are so thin. And it's not just because they are thin, it's because at this age, if they have these complications, their internal organs are affected and their brains do not develop, right? So this, this is not for the moment, this is a life, this goes through life. If a child is not well breastfed and after six months, the, the additional food, they can, by then they can eat. If they don't receive this, they will be, in a way, handicapped forever. Mr. Mahama, however, identifies some of the factors responsible for the disease, which he said need to be addressed in order to have a healthy nation. The most uh, fundamental of um, it all is about hunger. So um, there's a lot of hunger out there. Um, children are not able to get the required food that they are supposed to eat to be able to get the, the, the food um, nutrients that would um, enable them to grow well. The district head of Gagi, Alaji Omar Sani JB, commended the agency for supporting the facility in the areas of immunization, malnutrition, toilet facilities, and the provision of modern hand washing equipment, as well as standard borehole. Let's privilege children that are dying because of many things that are preventable, but we are losing many lives every day. A lot of citizen support for immunization to prevent child from paralyzing, from death, from many complications. So, According to the Walter Doranti, an Anglo-American journalist in the 30s, there is no actual starvation or deaths from starvation, but there is widespread mortality from diseases due to malnutrition. Abu Bakr Awal Imam reporting for Trust TV.